I'm Guy Sandville, Artistic Director of the Purple Rose Theatre Company, and I am delighted to tell you about our world premiere summer comedy, Miles and Ellie by Don Zalaitis. Miles and Ellie is a charming, hilarious, and heartfelt play that begs the question, is it possible to get a second chance at your first love? Here's a special preview with the actors of Miles and Ellie. Hi, I'm Lauren Smith, and today we're talking about the play Miles and Ellie. We have Rhiannon and Rusty joining us in studios today. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell us a little bit about your characters. I play Miles. Rhiannon plays Ellie. Ellie. Yeah. Um, two teenagers in love in Act One of the play. Uh, um, some awkward attempts at romance. Uh, happen and it's not all that successful uh, and then Miles um, has his attention distracted by another person distracted, distracted. Yeah, yeah. Distracted. yeah yeah that's right He's and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so the the romance sort of falls apart and at the end of act one and then in act two uh, picks up 20 years later and they meet each other again and uh, it's uh, act two deals with whether or not this uh, romance can be um, reignited. So as you said in the beginning of the play, you two play teenagers, mm -hmm. and then you flash forward 20 years ahead. How do you prepare for playing the different ages of the characters? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is dye my hair and get rid of the gray. <laughs> and then, no, <laughs> um, I think, I don't know. The only difference that I can think of from myself as a teenager to now is that when I was a teenager, I thought I knew everything about everything. And it wasn't until much later and now that I realized I'm a moron and I really don't know that much about the planet. <laughs> so it's, it's, that's, that's mine. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I, I, it's not difficult for me to remember uh, some of the painful, awkward memories of being a teenager, and so, and yeah, yeah and like really. looking back and understanding the naivete that, <laughs> that like I existed in this sort of uh, dumb bubble uh, that I lived in that was all about me. So it's not hard to crawl back into that bubble and and act dumb about the world and life, and particularly uh, women. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's true for a lot of folks. Yeah. <laughs> now this is a brand new play written by. Don Zolaitis, specifically for the Purple Rose Theater. What do you think about acting in a new play as opposed to something that's been produced many times before? I, don't, I think it's, it's a little more challenging because you don't, you, sometimes when the play's been done or it's well known, it kind of has, already has a certain path or people are familiar with it, like a brand. But doing a new play, you don't know. You have no idea what the reaction of the audience is going to be or if people are actually going to be interested yeah. in this thing that you think is interesting and funny. But, you know, who are we? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, Guy Sandville, who's going to direct the play, um, is kind of specializes in, in developing new work. Um, so I'm really excited. We're going to be in great hands, and um, I am looking forward very much to doing something that's original. And um, I mean, I'm going to be the first. I don't. Who knows what kind of life the play is going to have after the Purple Rose? But to know that I will be the first Miles is going. It's kind of an exciting thing. That is very yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think audiences will enjoy most about this play? That How lovely Rhiannon is. <laughs> Say. <laughs> no, that it's funny. Like it's really, it's fun. You know, I, it's like a perfect. I don't know if the rest of the season is a three-course meal, then this is like the perfect dessert. It's really fun. It's intelligent. It's witty. Yeah, it's hilarious. The cast is just. I'm. Yeah, it's so gonna, looking forward to everybody. Yeah, it's kind gonna be of really fun. I, I mean, and the audiences are gonna be able to relate. Everybody has fallen in love. Most people yeah. have anyway, especially as teenagers. It's, you know, I mean, people are in the habit of doing it every couple of weeks as teenagers. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody's going to be able to relate to what it is. Um, and who knows? Uh, who knows? Maybe someone will actually have had the experience that they can relate to of falling in love a second time with the same person 20 years down the road. I don't know. But it, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be difficult for audiences to embrace it. It's, it's great. F funny stuff. 
It all sounds very exciting. Rusty and Rhiannon, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thanks. It was great having you here. <laughs> uh, I'm Lauren Smith, and this was a look at Miles and Ellie. We hope you all go see it. Thanks. We hope you'll join us this summer for an evening of laughter and romance with Miles and Ellie by Donzelitis. Miles and Ellie runs from June 20th through August 31st. Get tickets at 734-433-ROSE or buy online at purplerosetheater.org.